I'm telling you straight. It's my way or the highway. So anybody who wants to walk, do it now. So, for all of you guys out there that have been watching and wondering, um, what was with the downtime and now where the hell does Purple Vo or Purple Vovo, Purple International come from? Basically what it is, is back uh, about a week ago, we, uh, when we were coming in on the 9th, or the, yeah, September 9th, we came in for a mandatory service on our Volvo. Well, if you guys all remember, we had like the battery problem, and then I think I was having some coolant leaks and a tire problem, and the Volvo had about 460,000 miles on it. So on the 9th, we dropped it off that morning for what's called a B service. It's a mandatory thing. We dropped it off. Of course, we asked for downtime too, so there's a catch-22. That's why we didn't get paid for this downtime. We had asked for downtime, and uh, we went back, got our mail, squared up all the stuff back home, did some shopping, squared up a lot of stuff, as you guys seen in the downtime videos. But it turned into, uh, we were told by the 10th they should know what the status of the truck is. Well, as of the 10th, the truck still was not going to be fixed. Again, you know, okay, fine, whatever. So we checked in twice a day, checked in with our DM, you know, kept her in the loop. Then by Tuesday the 11th, we were moving ourselves slowly hotel-wise back towards Detroit from the west side, so we were really just like 15 minutes away from the truck, in case, you know, it was ready, and shop still said there's a lot wrong with it, and came down to where the final blow to why we didn't get it back was the uh, air compressor for the air brakes and all that had oil in it, and they couldn't figure out where it was coming from. Well, for anybody who's ever been to the new Boston Terminal in the last three, four months, you guys will all, if you do remember at all, there has been a purple international sitting right by the end driver's entrance from the yard side where we park our trucks. That's the truck I drive now. What it has been is this was an owner-op rig. It was a leased vehicle for a guy who was an owner-op and uh, I don't know what happened, I don't know specifics, but basically it turned into a, this turned into a display truck uh, to show this is what you could get or whatever, and of course it's been sitting for four or five months, but it's been driven, it's, it's uh, been in the shop, um, and I guess when like they have local things with the, the schools, you know, they, they take it, so it's had kids through it and all this and that, so, but it's not dirty. So anyways, because I have my wife as a rider, as you guys all know, um, we were already down for the 9th, 10th, going on the 11th, and 12th makes four full days off. Um, by the 12th, my dispatcher, basically, or driver manager, basically had said to the terminal manager, yeah, I need to get this guy driving. He's been off for way too long. So the terminal manager called up corporate and goes, hey, we got this OO truck sitting out here. Uh, it's not doing anything. Nobody's driving it. It's got 268,000 miles on it. It's in really nice condition. The guy takes care of his other truck. You know, can we turn this into a company rig and give it to him? Because he's got a rider and he works seven days a week, drives. Yeah, you guys know the routine. We work. We don't stop. Well, we stop for our 10 hours off, but, you know. So anyway, so yes, yeah, so like the morning of the 12th, we got told, come on in, we got a truck for you. But we didn't know it was this one. So we go in, and uh, my DM basically looks at me and goes, well, Sam, you're going to like the truck, but I don't know if Nick's going to like it. And I'm looking at it and go, why? Is it a, is it a mid-rise or something? You know, I'm, I'm thinking style of truck, not color of truck, style of truck. She goes, no, um, you remember that purple one that's been out there since before you got hired? And I was like, yeah. She goes, that you're getting that one. I was like, oh, crap. So we've, she, we call it the Barney Mobile or Peanut or, uh, you know, there was another one out there that we called it. But we affectionately call it Peanut. We're affectionately calling it Peanut like Jeff Dunham's Peanut because it's, yeah. So anyways, so yeah, so now we have a, uh, what is it, Pro Star eagle but it's the premium edition um and it's an owner op so i actually have more horsepower under the hood yes this thing will do 68 miles an hour no i am not allowed to do 68 miles an hour do i abuse it i'm not going to tell you no. but it's nice to know that when i hit a hill i've got the extra horsepower sitting there it's not dialed back so it's with heavy loads it's it's nice already um the ride compared to the volvo it's a nice ride the seats no there's no squeaking, so I do not need WD-40 or anything from my butt, or Sam's butt, or anything like that. 
Um, everything works in the truck. Um, all the bells and whistles. Um, it's even got purple work lights off the back of the rig, which is, as Sam says, special and gay at the same time. Um, a lot of things when we finally do do the tour, which will probably be in the next video, um, when we have some downtime, maybe today, when Sam might have where she can, uh, you know, have the truck where she wants it, or at least decent enough for you guys to see it. You know, she she's not proud of it yet. It's not ready. It's a work in progress. And the other thing is, is once we got this truck, we actually had to take a load down to Memphis, Tennessee, because our QC unit, our Qualcomm, was the old huge brick. If you've ever seen Jerry's videos, he's got that big old style one that doesn't fold in half like ours does. We had that one, but it was even older than Jerry's. So, because even though this is a 2010, I couldn't even use it. The screen you couldn't see on it and anything like that. So they sent us to go get the new one. So I got a brand new QC in my truck. Um, other than that, we'll give you guys a real good tour later. But basically, this is why we've gone from the uh, 670 Volvo to a International again. Um, wasn't my choice, but you know what? It trucks a truck, and I, you know, it doesn't matter to me. And, and honestly, you guys will never know it's me unless you know my truck number because we do not have any of the Swift logos on it except for an itty bitty one that used to say owner op lease. And it's really cool because now we blend in and people think we're an owner op. So, minus you guys know we're not an owner op, I'm a company. Closely because the glue is still there for you know, lease two, they just took the lease two off. And the funny thing is, is that video before 27, um, that lady Sam was talking about thought Sam was an owner op and had never gone to a certain place before was telling her how to roll her tandems and all this and that and right after we videoed this we ran into the lady and of course she's still sitting in the bay dropping her trailer and I go putzing and by bobtail and Sam and I just do the whole nee, 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 nee. we're already done we already dropped hook and getting ready to hook and get the hell out of there we were gone before she even came over to the second lot to pick up her stuff but this is also somebody, drive, somebody, guys, that says I can't drive so many miles like an you know, like a like a what a what is it a regular team. team driver. Well, you guys know that we push out in a regular day. I can push out 624 miles in about 10 and a half hours. We've done more than that, but you know I can do it. So for those guys that sit there and say I can't drive that many miles, you're restricting yourself. You know, and then she was like talking about 45,000 pounds. Dude, guys, you guys know I've done 45,000 pounds and I got a 200 pound Cheeto in the back seat. Sorry, and plus all her crap. You know, it's an international, it's fully fueled. All I hear is excuses. So, anyways, biggest thing to all you guys out there that are watching that are newbies and going into Swift, take every freaking load you're tossed. It don't matter what the damn stupidity of it is. If it's under, say, 50 miles, yeah, question it. Because maybe your dispatcher has a reason or not, but ask about it. Depending on if you're over the road or not, yeah. Well, either way, everybody's over the road one way or the other. <laughs> but basically, for all you newbies out there, we heard one guy when we were sitting in the shop, he was talking to us. He said a buddy of his new guy was only driving for a month got told to turn in his truck because the guy kept turning down all these little loads uh, well guess what you can get fired for turning for a lot of turning down it doesn't take much to take your percentage from like a low turn down to a high turn down by turning down a few minimum accept it but sit there and if you have an issue with the hours at the very bottom of our macros you can put in reason for changing the time specs if you have a 10 hour down that's how I've got a hundred percent on time delivery because when it comes down to my hours I will send in I can do it but if you can't do it in this to this then I'm sorry I can't take it you work with your DM and the planner you'll get that run 99% of the time because they can work with it and put it at the farthest out that they can do it if you can do it and for the record, yesterday was a double drop and hook. We started our day off up in uh, St. Louis area, dropped down in Neely's, N-E-E-L-Y-S. Uh, Georgia. Georgia. No, Neely's was the pickup. Oh. At Procter & Gamble, we got Pampers. And then we dropped <laughs> off in Albany, Georgia. Albany, yeah. Albany, Georgia, and then took a load all the way over straight to a actual Sam's Club, which is where we were last night. And we'll show you this really cool picture of the truck here. Hey, you. Come on over here and fight like a man. And, uh, yeah, so, but that was another 
long day and we actually shut down at the ship at the receiver because we ran out of hours but anyways guys enjoy Sam's cooking video this is your video cooking for today um, it I think it's an older one we had it we haven't had to use it so it is gonna be a flashback here but it's an oldie and a goodie and another one of Sam's fun recipes um, we got some new ones on the way that'll do some more testing of our gear so alright guys this is past 10 minutes I've talked too much I'm gonna get the hell out of your hair because it's gonna be already a 20 minute plus video later guys Wow! Someone smells stinky! Wow, it's me! Alright, today we've got some pork stew meat, a can of sliced carrots, and a can of cream of potato with a little water just to make it a little soupy so it can cook. And we're gonna cook it up for a few hours and see what it does. Hey, everybody! This is Sam! Alright. We cooked the concoction for about five, six hours or so. Something like that. Um, I also added some garlic salt, some pepper, and some onion powder. And a whole bunch of sass. <laughs> and now we're having it over some rice. <laughs> and I did stick my finger in it, it tastes pretty good, so. You stuck your finger in it? I'm not sticking my mouth on it now. <laughs> Whatever, you're gonna eat it because you're hungry. Yeah. And remember, people, if you poop green, it's because you're drinking red, purple pop. Anyways, that's my tip for today. My job is to make sure that you do your job. So my jurisdiction's pretty much in your face. Okay, everybody, we have today... No, 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 no. It's... Hi, everybody! It's <laughs> Sam! <laughs> you can see him the trucking ham! <laughs> Anyways... <laughs> Uh, we've got some Italian sausage cut up in there with some um, honey and some barbecue sauce and some garlic and some onion. So we're and gonna some what else? And 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 I, don't know. I think that's about it today. So I think you're a ham. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna let that cook up and see what happens. How's the food? You're a dick. <laughs> I just started recording. It's edible. What does it look like? What do we do? Well, the rest of what you're talking about, and it's it's rice and just some or bratwurst. What did you say it smelled like earlier? I don't know. What did I say? It smelled like pepperoni. Oh, it smelled like pepperoni. Yeah, because it's sausage. Okay. So it's edible? I'm eating it, aren't I? I'm not dead yet. Yeah. Okay. You've almost annihilated the whole bowl. That whole bowl was like full. Yeah, well, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten much today. So I know. can I eat? Yeah, sure. Okay, good. Oh, come on! What the hell?